Welcome back, friends. Today, we're taking a look at Google's AI Studio, which honestly should be renamed to Google's Vibe Coding Studio because of this new feature that we're going to take a look at. Now, if you haven't had a chance to dive into AI Studio, it's one of my favorite tools out there. Uh, you can do a bunch of things here. So it's for developers, for creators, for anyone wanting to play with some of the features that Google offers without actually using the API, you can jump into AI Studio. So just starting off with something like chat, if you wanted to check out a lot of the different models here, you can go over to the right, you can click on this and you can see all the different models here. So Nana Banana, if you wanna do some image generation, you can see what the pricing is, uh, what the knowledge cutoff is. And so we can just jump through there. And this is really cool to see. So you get this nice overview of all the different models that you're working with. So that's chat. But now they have this new feature called build, which is really a way to do some like vibe coding. Now there are some limitations to this. This isn't fully featured yet. Uh, if you go into the FAQ, you can run through here and see like how do the apps run because you can actually save your app and then deploy it to, you can send it to GitHub, you can deploy it on Google, Google Cloud Run. Uh, you can do a bunch of things. Um, you can also, so the first thing I try to do is like use a different language because the default language I see is, is it's like building a React app. And I see, can I use Next, Svelte, Vue, or Astro? At the moment, these libraries are not supported because of the limited supported support for compiler plugins, uh, which, which is weird. If they're using React, I, I, would have, I would assume they're using Vite. And Vite has plugins for all this stuff, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But I did try to take one of my examples and say, that was great, but write it in Vue using Vite, and it didn't do it. So for now, it's just this. And I saw some other comments. So Logan Kilpatrick, the, uh, one of the developer advocates, the developer advocate over at Google for some of this AI stuff, um, he basically put this blog post out and did like a walkthrough of this. And somebody said, hey, I love this, but one of the real challenges is trying to connect to things like databases, file storage, authentication, building APIs. And those aren't there yet. And he said, all of this is coming soon. So when you hear that, uh, is this like a, some type of replacement for anything like V0 or Bolt or Lovable? Probably not. Uh, but this is a, a really good start and a really good uh, V0, V1 if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you think about it, right? So what we can do is we can come in here and like build some apps. And I'm not a front end engineer, uh, but I can I, I like the aesthetics of like a good looking front end, right? So as a back end engineer, what I'm gonna use this for is really just trying to come up with ideas for a UI for something that I need to build. I spend way too much time, even on a simple like login page, like uh, maybe I'm using like an email password and OAuth, like I spend way too much time on that. So this is like a really good start. So you can come in here, you can describe your idea. So what are you trying to build? You can also supercharge your app. So if you know your app is gonna use something like Nano Banana, you can click on this. Maybe I want to use AI powered chatbots. I can click on that and then describe your feature. You can also come in here and just say, I'm feeling lucky. Let's like come up with something. So um, here's a um, AI math tutor. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, um, sure, it sounds pretty good. Again, these are like fun. I've, I've gone through a bunch of these um, and uh, they, they're pretty cool. So um, sure, um, some type of cross-platform social media generator. That sounds good. So you can come in here, you can pick your model. Uh, by default, it's using Gemini 2.5 Pro. I imagine if all of the things I'm hearing are correct, which is I don't have any inside information, but... Um, uh, Gemini 3.0 should be coming out soon, so I'm guessing this will move over the, to that when we get here. Um, but yeah, so once we get there, I'm gonna go ahead and say build, and it takes you into this builder here. What I like about this is we're brainstorming here too, so it starts giving you ideas. Okay, uh, this is the thing you're building. What if you enabled users to upload brand assets? And you can flick through these, so take your code to the next level, push to GitHub, incorporate uh, user feedback, add content scheduling, I like that. And so you get some ideas why it's starting to build out the original um, MVP of this application. Again, this is, it's weird. I, I would think like from Google, it would use like Angular by default, but it's using React. I don't use React, that's okay. What I'm trying to do is just build out a simple UI for something that I'm trying to build. 
Uh, even if it's written in like React, I can give that to a large language model and say, just turn this into plain HTML, CSS, and uh, I've been using Tailwind a lot for this, but uh, just give me the core bits of it. Now I can go ahead and take that and like build something with it. And that was always a uh, struggle for me. That was always kind of a, uh, a limiting factor of what I would do because I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds fun to build, but man, I don't want to spend three days working on a UI for that. So this is uh, really cool. You can see it start to go down. You can see the things that it's creating. You can also see it's thinking. So um, refining the concept, outlining the structure, developing the core logic. This is a really good learning tool too. So for someone who me, me, like me who is not really great at front end development, maybe I could do some things in here and like watch what it's thinking to kind of come up with an idea of how these things are built. Um, so this is really exciting. So. It's going through here, um, finalizing the type definitions, and uh, what we get back may not be the greatest thing in the world, may not be exactly what you're looking for, but what we get back is a good start, right? This is, we're a couple minutes in, probably two minutes into this. Again, this would have taken me two days to do. So what we get back uh, should be good enough to like take a look at. Here's a preview. Cool, social content catalyst. Here's our idea. Uh, what are we, what are we, yeah, launching a new coffee cup. Uh, launching, whoops, launch, gosh, I can't spell today. Launching a new spring framework inspired coffee, all right? Uh, so let's say professional, we'll generate content, and then it will go through and generate some social media posts for this. And again, here's where it gets interesting. Again, this might not be the greatest, like, end all be all but we can come in here and we can iterate on this so we can go back and forth and like figure out what we want to do i've noticed a lot of these designs are kind of the same like this so if you want some different designs make sure you um say so oh look at that spring framework coffee i like that look at that so cool yeah this was fun i mean just to, to, to come up with a tool you can dive into the code you can see what that is you can go full screen you can change the device to like a mobile device I also like these AI suggestions. So if you're not sure like what to add to this, this app that you've built next, um, what is it? Um, maybe content editing, add tone suggestions, et cetera. So once you're done with this, you can come in here and you can copy, you can save. Uh, so this one's saved already. You can go ahead and download this app. You can save it to GitHub. You can deploy this on Google Cloud Run. And you can go ahead and share this out or switch to an API key because it's not using your API key yet. So that's really cool. We built one thing. I'll show you a couple other things I built. Once you're there, you can go into your apps and see the different apps that you've built. So one was this golf lesson scheduler. So you can come in here and you can pick an instructor, you can pick a day, you can pick the time, and then I can go ahead and confirm the booking. I thought this would be a fun app to build in spring. But again, I did the barrier of like trying to build this UI, ugh, that just like gives me anxiety, right? Because I'm not good at that stuff. Um, but it'd be fun to build this out. So maybe we'll build this out in a, in a future episode. So the other one I did is something I've always wanted to do was have some type of content voting platform. So on my website, you can come there and say like, yeah, I'm really interested in that particular thing. Uh, so they can get a gauge of what people want to see next. And so this was just a fun little app. Again, this isn't the end all be all. This is just like a starting point for me. And as Logan said here in, uh, on his Twitter account, that this will continue to evolve and like you could probably start to build some other things and use other frameworks and connect to the databases of the world or payment integrations, et cetera. This is, this is going to evolve over time. But for now, for me, it's a really good start. And then there's galleries. You can go ahead and check out some other applications that have been built on the platform. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I'm a big fan of Google AI Studio. I use it a lot for chat. Uh, again, from a chat perspective, you can come in here and uh, select Gemini 2.5 Pro, and you can like tweak some knobs, and you can like test some things out. So I love Google AI, AI Studio for this. And... I think I have left the biggest pro out of this. The one thing that you should really know about this, I probably should have led with this, but all of this is completely free. Like, yeah, there are some rate limits, but like I haven't hit them yet. And uh, this is all free to use. 
So pretty cool to see. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not, as I said earlier, I don't think this. there's a lot of clickbait videos out there saying this is a lovable Bolt B0 whatever killer. Not there yet, but a really nice app, some really nice features, and I'm going to be using it a lot more. So, uh, hey, I hope you found a new tool today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, do me a big favor. Leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, happy coding.